So this is guys, this is our dish for today is Brussels sprouts with cranberry and pecans salad. Hello, good day everyone. Let's welcome back again to Lalin Su YouTube channel. Today I have another new recipe that I'm gonna going to introduce or to share it with you to give you some ideas, you know, so it's pretty easy to make. It's not really that hard. Um, and then it takes you only for like five, ten minutes, you know, but chopping the uh, Brussels sprouts is the one that takes you up. But otherwise, you know, it's a very yummy dish. You know, Brussels sprout sometimes is really hard to cook because it's bitter. And, you know, it's like if it is overcooked, it's too messy. If it is like undercooked, it's a bit bitter. But, you know, we still got to find a way to make a special one. So, that's all I... That's, all our ingredients is malt vinegar, it's uh, honey, seeded mustard, Dijon mustard, pecans, dried cranberries, and most of all is the Brussels sprouts. And I normally, no, I mean it's like I normally roast the pecans, but this time I just chop them fresh i didn't toast it you know i didn't toast it it's it's just normal and that's honey so there there is the recipe i'll put in the description box below so just you know if you really want to follow the recipe just click on the descriptions and you can find it in there how i do it and how how much the measurements so it's just pretty easy once you got all the dry the wet ingredients or the sauces just give it a good whisk to you know blend it all together and then you know just crack a black pepper you know as as much as you want it's up to you it's your own choice because you know every one of us has a different taste and um yeah and it's pretty easy to make and and the honey that's what i'm trying to say i'm lost in my mind and the honey it's up to you as well what any type of honey that is available in the kitchen and by making or doing or cooking something it's not necessarily that we need to follow the you know the ingredients that somebody had used in their cooking because sometimes we don't like the taste we don't like the smell so it's up to us what is the closest you know product or taste that we could use to suit our taste so here we come back guys to our cooking just give it a good whisk you know so that it will mix them all together or blend it all together Sometimes it takes a while, but I give you the idea where and, and easy it is for you to do is to put in an empty jar. You know, yeah, all your jars that you had used them all, like all those jam, um, mustard bo uh, bottle, don't throw it, just wash it. And then when you do like all this saucing, you just put all them inside and then just give it a good, you know, shake it. But this time, I didn't put it in because, you know, it's like I got to rush for to do something and I need to do it right straight away anyway. I don't need to have to store back into the fridge. So I just quickly put it in a bowl and whisk it. So now it's time for us to chop the brushes sprouts. First, you need to chop into half for an easy handling. So just cut the brushes brussels sprout into half and then slice it thinly you know the thinner that you slice the better because you know it's it's a salad and if you chop it chunk like a bit chunky it kind of like 
you know brussels sprout is a bit tough like cabbage you know like a baby tiny cabbage but i think it's it has a bit tougher leaves so you need to slice it thinly but anyway it's up to any one of us you know how we dealt with it like you know how we specific specifically like things some people like to do like really thin some people like really thick you know it's a kind of like it's up to it's up to us but it's, that's only the idea that i'm giving it to you in my own way and in my own opinion so you know it's 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 a good thing you know by cooking experiencing it every day it gives us a knowledge how we're gonna going to cook it doesn't mean that you're expert or non-expert even though you studied or you didn't study but you know if you have i mean if you put your heart into cooking you know it just came up into your mind you know it's like imagining the taste that you really want it to be so then the idea it comes up into your mind that oh yeah instead of this can i use this because i don't quite like the taste of this and i like the taste of that but at least you know it is a similar taste you know so and a similar thing like vinegar some people do like balsamic vinegar some people like plain vinegar some people like apple cider vinegar so it's up to us guys you know what ways that we really like actually the original recipe is balsamic vinegar but i don't quite like balsamic vinegar because it's too sour for me plus it's darker color like i mean it's like almost it's black it's not almost but it's black so i don't quite like the blend of it you know because it might change the color of my cooking so instead and besides i don't have a balsamic vinegar so i just use malt vinegar which is the only uh, vinegar available in the house and you know i like the taste i like the smell so i picked that as i picked that up as an option so you know it takes a while this is the one i told you that chopping preparing is the one that takes you a long time to do it but otherwise you know just be patient guys you know that's the cooking it is and to be able to see and taste the labor of your love of cooking you must have to put on too much your um, patience into doing it you know so well that takes me a while so just watch until I finish doing that and then we move on to the next level of my cooking so watch it guys So I have here like a cup of cranberries and then I just roughly chop it up as well. I think this is good enough. We got to get a at least three quarter half half a cup of pecans and then we just roughly chop it off